Well, guys, I was born this way, and there's no medical reason uh, why, why that happened. My brother and my sister were born with arms and legs. And sometimes in life, things happen that don't make sense. My doctors never thought that I'd be able to walk. And today, I'm walking. I'm from Australia. Anybody one day want to go to Australia? It's such a cool place. And um, I now live in LA. I'm a Southern California boy. So I only live about four hours from here. And today I'm going to tell you, man, I, I love freaking people out. My parents always said, Nick, you don't know what you can achieve until you try it. And uh, the doctors looked at me and said, he's not going to walk. He's not going to go to school. He's not going to do anything in his life. And then my parents, they just loved me like crazy and said, you got to try. Try this, try that, try this, try that. And I'm thinking sometimes like, mom and dad, you're crazy, man. I have no arms, no legs. How would I ever be able to do this or do that? But they encouraged me and they loved me. And as human beings, we're waiting for stuff like that. We all want love. Everybody say love. Very good. We all want love. And, you know, I went to school and, and I, you know, I wanted to be cool. You know, you go to school and, and you, you, you want to be accepted, you know. And so you see these guys and you're like, oh, man, you know, everyone swears like every third sentence. F this and F that and F and this and F, F. Like what? Like the, the, they think they're cool, you know? And so I'm thinking, man, may, maybe I need to be like them to be cool. And then you compare each other with how we look and, and I wish I was smarter, I wish I was taller, I wish I was shorter, I wish I was more popular, I wish I did this, I wish I didn't have that. I wish my life was different. That was me when I was about eight years old. I looked at myself and looked at everybody else and everyone else had more than me. And I'm asking, why? Why me? Have you ever asked the why me questions, but get nowhere? If I had no answers from the doctors, and if I had no answers from my parents, I still have a choice every day in my life to keep going or give up. You see this book up here? This is my favorite book in the whole wide world. This is my favorite book, the Bible. And here I am, and for me, that's my full potential in all that I can be here on earth. And so encouragement takes me closer to all that I can be, and discouragement takes me away. You see, it only takes three seconds for someone to tease me when I was at school and just say, Hey, you're ugly. Yeah. Hey, you can't do this and you can't do that. And some of you are thinking like, man, seriously? You had kids picking on you? Like, how heartless are those kids? Picking on me with no limbs? Like, you would probably say, well, I'm not that bad. I wouldn't pick on a kid with no limbs. But why would you pick on anyone? Well, because it's fun. It's just culture. Okay, we'll get to that. But for me, me facing all that stuff, I'm getting these seeds. Everybody say seeds. S-E-E-D-S. Seeds. Have you seen the pictures of the Sequoia Reds up here in California? These huge trees, like some of the trunks could be as nearly big as this room. I've seen those photos where they've actually dug out a tunnel in a trunk of a tree. You can drive a full-size SUV right through it. That all started with a little seed. If you leave a seed of lies in your heart and in your mind and you don't know the truth, if you don't know the truth, you will die with the lie. I started dying because I started believing what I was told. I want you to know the three things that I needed to come to in my life is the truth of my value, the truth of my purpose, and the truth of my destiny. I want you to know something. In our mind, we put ourselves down all the time. I want to ask you today, do you think I'm cool enough to be your friend? But I don't swear, I don't use the F-bomb. Am I still cool enough to be your friend? But I don't tease people, am I still cool enough to be your friend? But I have no arms, no legs. Seriously.
You would be my friend even though I have no arms or legs. So you're telling me it actually doesn't matter, right? If it actually doesn't matter for how we look, then why do we tease each other for how we look if it actually doesn't matter? 